Hi. Hello, everyone. Now, today I'm going to tell you a lot about animals, their eating habits, okay, how they lay babies. Okay, so now we come to the first, okay, the first part, that is animals and how they give birth to their young ones. Okay, animals can give birth to their young ones in two ways. They can either have babies directly, okay, or they can lay eggs. Now, the animals which give birth to babies are a cow, elephant, a tiger. These are just a few examples, okay? Like you never hear of a cow egg. You never hear of an elephant egg. And you never hear of a tiger's egg, okay? But yes, we do hear about a hen's egg, a duck's egg, or snake eggs, okay? Now, how do the little ones come out from the eggs? It is a very fascinating procedure, okay? When a hen, we take a hen as an example, when a hen lays an egg, it sits on the egg, okay, for a period of about 21 days. The, the hen keeps the eggs warm and finally the eggs hatch, okay. Now, you must know what hatches that part, okay, that process. When the eggs burst, okay, they crack, you hear a sound crack and the small chicks come out of the eggs are called the hatching of eggs okay the hatching and then the little ones come out okay so what you must remember is that an animal can give birth to a baby directly or it can lay an egg okay and then animals which give birth to babies the young ones depend on the mother's milk they live off the mother's milk but when an animal lays an egg the little ones that come out, they start feeding from day one, okay? They start eating things and pecking at things, okay? Whatever the parent provides it with, okay? Now, we group animals according to what they eat. Now, after an animal is born, comes the, come the eating habits. So, we group animals according to what they eat. You have the herbivores. We can divide them into three parts. Herbivores, carnivores and omnivores, okay? Herbivores from the word herb. See, these are the animals which eat grass. They only eat grass. Okay. Now, for example, okay, in the picture, you can see a few grass eating animals. See the cow? You never hear of a cow eating meat. Okay. You never hear of a giraffe eating meat. In fact, the giraffe is made in such a way. See, God's gift. Okay. He has such a long neck. That allows it to reach the leaves on the tree tops. See? So these are grass eating animals known as herbivores. The goat, the cow, the deer, the giraffe. These are all a few examples of herbivores or grass eating animals. Now, the second group of animals are the carnivores. Carnivores, the animals which eat only meat. You never hear of a lion eating a sugar cane or you never hear of a lion eating grass. The lion only wants meat, okay? So, meat eating animals are called carnivores, okay? Now, then you have an example, the third example. Now, first you can see this beautiful lion there. See, this is a carnivore. The lion will never say, I want to eat fruit. The lion will never say, I want to eat bananas. No, he says, I just want meat, okay? Now, then we have the third group of animals, the omnivores. Omnivores are animals which eat grass also and meat also. The best example of an omnivore is a bear. A bear loves honey, okay? And a bear eats shoots and the bear loves fish. So, see, an animal which eats both meat and grass is an omnivore. Carnivores are only meat eating and herbivores are grass-eating animals. Now, we come to the next, that is where animals live. See, first the baby is born, then he develops his eating habits, and now where he lives, okay? Animals have their own natural homes, okay? Natural means given to them by nature, by God above, okay? Now see, for example, you can see in the picture, the bear lives in a den, Okay, the snake coils onto the branch of a tree or lives in a hole. Okay, then see the bird builds a nest. Okay, now see the leopard here sitting on the branch of a tree. Or he can also stay in a cave.
Okay, so animals have their natural homes. Like we have our homes. Every day when the bell rings and school gives over, you love to run back home. In the same way with animals, they all have their fixed homes. They don't change their homes every day, okay? They love going back to their homes, okay? Sometimes human beings, we, we also make homes for animals, okay? For example, see the horse, we make a home and that home is called the stable, okay? The cow lives in a shed and a dog lives in a kennel. The rabbit lives in a hatch. So when we make homes for animals, we give them different names, okay? Now, you can go back, you can check out on two videos that have been attached, okay? I've sent the links to see how eggs hatch and examples of omnivores, that is animals which eat meat and eat grass, okay? Okay, bye then.